Hi, I'm Brian Wood. I'm the construction manager for Canby Homes, and I'm here to show you a few maintenance tips. And the first step in your maintenance of your furnace is to shut off the furnace. The most important thing to remember when shutting off your furnace is turning it back on when you're done. The only real maintenance that you need to do yourself on your furnace is checking your furnace filter. There's many reasons why it'll get dirty just from the dust outside in a construction neighborhood. You want to check it every three months. You may not need to replace it every three months. You might do it every six months, every nine months. Just take a look at your furnace filter and you'll know if it's dirty or not. This furnace filter is a 20 by 25 by 4. It's a good idea to have a few on hand for your furnace and keep an eye at the arrow pointing the, the air direction. The airflow direction is important, not so important when you have the filter in your hand, just important when you put it back, that it's back the right way. Uh, the airflow for your furnace goes down the pipe and into the side of the furnace. So it's a good idea to keep that in mind. This is your humidifier. This is here to add humidity to your air when the air outside is dry in the winter. Uh, your furnace knows when to do it. So there's a winter and a summer shut off on here. Just leave it at winter. Your furnace, your, your thermostat knows what to do with the rest. Inside there is just a filter that allows all the water to trickle down and the air to blow through it. And that air blows the water into your furnace's air and it releases it to the house. Over time, you get a calcium buildup onto here. So you just have to remove your filter. It pops out quite easily. And there it is there. If the filter is filled with white calcium, it's time to replace it. That's your hot water tank. Uh, there's not a lot of maintenance to it, but you can flush it once a year just to help uh, make it live a little bit longer. You can get another 10, 15 years out of one of these if you flush it once a year to get rid of the calcium deposits. While you use it over the year, the calcium builds up and builds up inside of it. And slowly you use, you lose some of the ability to heat water in it. Uh, so if you flush this, it'll stop that from being a problem. The problem is all the water inside of here is super hot. So if you want to turn off your heat and then drain your tank through using water through your bathtub or, or your washing machine, that's probably the best. Once you've done that, you can then connect a pipe or a hose to it and put it into the drain and let it drain away. Just let it flush for five minutes and most of the calcium deposits that are in it will, will flush out. Once a year, it's all you need to do. This is your HRV. This is what gives you your fresh air in your home and keeps it nice and, and healthy. Uh, when you go to open it, it may be on. It's some, sometimes quite quiet. So just open it up an inch, let it shut down because if it is dirty and you open it right up, you might get a mouthful of dust. Once it's open, you can take the cover right off, just put it out of the way. This is the filter. There's your pre-filter for the air from outside. If this is dirty, that means that the air coming into your house is dirty. Most commonly, you'll find this get dirty in the mayfly season when those tiny flies come, but they'll be trapped inside of here. They won't be able to get into your house from there. Uh, during pollen season, this could get filled with pollen. So it's a good idea anytime the pollen season comes and goes to come down here and check it. You want to check this probably every three months just to make sure it's running smoothly and the filters are clean. If this filter is dirty, this is the filter from inside your home. So the air that's inside your home goes through here. If this is dusty, that probably means it's a good time to get your furnace clean. Okay, so the air from the outside, the cold air will come in through one side of these metal sleeves. The air from the inside comes through the other side and you use your warm air to heat up the new air before you expel it. So to, to clean, the, you just simply pull them out. You can set them inside a bathtub, just shake it around a little bit with warm water and then put it back into place. Um, while it's out, it's not a bad idea to do a wipe down inside of here just to remove any dust. Everything come back in here and drip dry right in place because it's got a drain, so it's no, no concern about that. Okay, and that's all there is to your HRV every three months.